This is Adam and Garrett of Red E. And we got Reed behind the camera. Today we're going to be installing the spread sense system on a John Deere floater. So come along with us and we're going to show you some tips and tricks on how to install it. If you hear nothing else from me in this video, make sure you get these deflectors clean. I always like to start with a little brake clean. Uh, it gets, a, gets that first initial dust off and then I go back over it with alcohol wipes. If you make sure that you get these things clean, you're going to have to take a chisel to get them off. Just give it a little spray, give it a little wipe, and then you'll see Garrett back there wiping on it with an alcohol wipe. So when you're sticking on these sensors, it's really important that it's clean. So we've already gone through, we put the brake clean on, Garrett wiped them down. Uh, you peel off the adhesive, take the sensor, center it up as best you can, put it maybe a pinky's width up from the bottom, have the port for the auditory tubing going out the top, stick it on there. And then the next most important thing after getting it clean is you push it on there with a little bit of force. It's pressure sensitive adhesive. So once you press and you put that pressure on, that's what activates the adhesive on there. Just pay attention to what might be over the top of this because there's gonna be a big thick hose that goes on here really shortly. And you may wanna turn the port off to the side or off to the other side. Anyway, just something to keep in mind, just have a plan before you start sticking the sensors on because like I said, it's gonna take a chisel to take these things back off. All right, so here I'm installing the auditory tubing. Now the one thing you gotta keep in mind here is you don't need to get overzealous about getting all the way up on the sensor. As long as you can get it, you know, roughly half an inch on, it's gonna stay. Once it warms up, it's just gonna adhere itself on there really well. Don't worry about tying her down for now. We'll zip tie that all up when we do our, when we do our harnessing. Uh, this hose here is what transmits the sound. So you can think of these sensors as stethoscopes. So it's got a stethoscope on the outside, just like a doctor would be reading your heart as the fertilizer or you know, potentially cover crops or whatever you're putting down to this is hitting the deflector. And so this hose just acts as the tubes that go up to the doctor's ears and it transmits the sound all the way down to the ECU. One great thing about these hoses is that they are super thick. So when we go to tying down our harnesses and our hoses, you can zip tie the heck out of these things and you are not gonna crush this thing. Even when I press as hard as I can, like I can get it to move just a little bit, but one zip tie across the outside of this thing, it's not going to crush. They're really, really nice hoses, blocks out the sound of the fan as that's going. All right, so quick pro tip for you here. When you get out your ECUs, do a small amount of planning here. Set them all so that you can see the serial number. They say the serial number right on the outside. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them in numerical order. They're all numbers. Uh, the blockage monitor is alphanumeric, so it's a little tougher to figure out, but but not terrible. So got all these out. I'm just gonna put them in number, number order. So we got 94, 64, 420, 436, 464, 468, 512. And now we can start setting these out. There's two different types of ECU brackets. Usually this C1 goes in the middle and this flat one that you use the hose clamps for that goes out on your wings. Now just glance at your diagram uh, depending on what kind of spreader you have, it's going to change where you use these two different types of brackets. And you may not even have one type of bracket depending on the spreader you have. Right now, I'm mounting the gateway antenna. There's this little crossbar that runs across. So I'm just using some of the supplied U-bolts and brackets to mount the gateway and antenna bracket. That way, we can get the Wi-Fi signal from the system into the cab to the iPad. That's how you actually get communication to what the system's interpreting from all the sensors. So I ran into one of the more difficult parts about this job, and that is how do you get the wire from the cab out to the back? Because you need to use one of these convenience plugs so that you have key power and constant power. So what I'm doing here is I'm lifting up the, the floor mat, and I found a little knockout. I don't know how well you can see that. It's not very well lit, but uh, I'm going to go right through this knockout right here. Put a little hole in it, and that's where I'm going to send my wire through. Well, we've gotten quite a few of the ECUs installed. Those are kind of the brains here. So the sensor, very simple, uh, straightforward, connects to a hose. The hose connects up to here. 
Uh, there are microphones in here uh, that act as high speed pressure transducers is what they are. So sensor to ECU, ECU is gonna connect over CAN all the way up to our gateway that Garrett got installed up there. Remember, one last PSA, use anti-seize on these bolts. Uh, they are stainless bolts, so please be careful, otherwise you're gonna rip them up. At the end of a CAN harness, you always need to have a resistor. Now there's this plug that's in your kit. Don't forget to put that at the end. If you turn the whole system on and no ECU show up, you probably forgot to install these little CAN terminators down at the end. Well, you saw us do the tap test. The reason we do that is just to make sure that we've got every hose going to the right ECU. Now, you want to know that you got the right one going because otherwise you're going to get false blockages or false flowing. So always do the tap test whether you're doing a recon spread sense or recon blockage monitor. If you like what you saw here, check us out at ready.com. Let's keep farmers farm. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up on all the fresh content posted weekly, which includes helpful tips and tricks, new products, and various adventures. Also, make sure you check out Ready's website to shop our performance air seeder solutions.